Not Waving But Drowning by Stevie Smith. The first thing to really think about in this poem when you first read it is the idea that we see not waving but drowning. Okay, So waving can obviously mean waves of an ocean or it could refer to waving, that's meant to be a hand, waving goodbye or hello. Now drowning you can also look at, you can drown which means death, but metaphorically, you can also drown in feelings or drown in happiness, in happiness or sadness, um, things like that. So the title itself is really quite misleading, but we can instantly think that it does have something to do with the sea and death. Now, as we move on, we see the first word, nobody heard him. Who? The dead man. So nobody, so it indicates that he was alone. Now, first of all, you need to think, well... Obviously he's dead, so how can people hear him? But there's a metaphor going on here. The idea that nobody heard him shows that he's alone. It's possibly the idea, why didn't they hear them? Is it because they didn't want to hear him? Because they regularly ignored him? What reason is it for? So nobody heard him, the dead man. But still he lay moaning. Moaning has two meanings. It can mean obviously complaining. Or it can mean being in pain. There are two meanings of moaning there. Now notice here, we also have the colon. If I take that away, if you look here, we have a colon here, which tells us that a list is going to happen, or perhaps it's going to give us more information about something, as it does. Now immediately it changes to, I was much further out than you thought, and not waving, but drowning. This idea of being further out than you thought, it could obviously relate to being in the sea, in the ocean, being further out than people thought it was. But at the same time, it might also be a metaphor for life. Perhaps he's always on the outside of life. People don't really listen to him or take him seriously. Now, there's two different speakers working here, which I'll go on and explain again in a minute. There's this one here. Nobody heard him, but the dead man, but still he lay moaning. And then we hear... I was much further out than you thought, and not waving, but drowning. Now here, a third speaker comes into play when they tell us that poor chap, he always loved larking, and now he's dead. It must have been too cold for him. His heart gave away, they said. Now this idea here, he always loved larking. Larking means to play about, to joke about, to have fun. Now the man in this poem doesn't sound like he's somebody who enjoys to have a joke, enjoys having a joke and having fun. So there's certainly a question there. Again, if we think perhaps that he lived life on the outside, that perhaps he's complaining, and the idea here that nobody heard him because nobody wanted to. So, so yeah, so it goes into that idea that nobody wanted to hear him. Nobody wanted to hear him, perhaps because they ignored him. So poor chap, he always loved larking, and now he's dead. And, and a voice comes in, it must be, it been too cold for him, his heart gave way, they said. And again, the narrator there is telling us, this is what they said. They think possibly the water was too cold for him, and he had a heart attack, and that's how he died. Now again, we instantly get the writer coming back here and saying, oh no, 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 it was too cold always. So if it's always been too cold, then obviously this isn't what killed him. We also see here, oh no, no, no. It's almost as if the dead man is responding to all the different people, the crowd that is here, th having theories, thinking about the reason that he died. And he's saying, no, no, no. As if to say, no, 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 shut up, stop talking. It was too cold, always. And then some kind of different voice comes in again and says, still the dead one lay moaning. And he goes back to say, I was much too far out all my life and not waving but drowning. And again, we've got the idea here of being further out, and he's saying here, I was much too far out all my life. So perhaps there he's saying he's always been an outsider. Perhaps that's what he's trying to say. So it goes away from just being a man who's drowning, people thinking that he must have had a heart attack, to actually a man who's possibly ignored, feels nobody takes him seriously and no one listens to him. Possibly, why is he drowning? There's two ways to look at it. Obviously, he's literally drowning in the ocean, but there's also a hint there that he's drowning in his emotions. He's drowning in rejection. He's drowning of people not listening to him. 
He feels that people all around him are just a big sea and he is drowning within it and nobody is listening. And he, ref he just repeats that line there. He wasn't waving, he wasn't saying hello or larking about, playing about. He was actually drowning, but nobody listened to him. Nobody took him seriously. Nobody seemed to care about the fact that he was drowning. So there's lots of different things at play here, at play in this poem. Now very quickly, oops, very quickly, just to show you the different voices, the different voices that we see appearing here. It's not working very well. We see here that nobody heard him. It says here, we've got nobody heard him, the dead man, okay? We can certainly say this is one speaker, but still he lay moaning. We then get another speaker. I was much further out than you thought, and not waving, but drowning. So that's another speaker. So we have one speaker here. We have another speaker here. Poor chap, he always loved larking, and now he's dead. It must have been too cold for him, his heart gave way, they said. So in these lines here, what we see is a different speaker again. Poor chap, he always loved larking, and now he's dead. It must have been too cold for him, his heart gave way. And that could be said, you could easily say that that is a crowd possibly speaking, or possibly the dead man's family, or many other possibilities. But again, it's people speculating. All these things here that the speakers, that the speakers or speakers are giving, they're all just speculation. He always loved playing about and joking, now he's dead. That's really quite severe as well, just how quickly they go, and now he's dead. There's no compassion, it doesn't seem, there's not any real care. And then another voice says, oh, it must have been too cold for him, his heart gave way. And then the telling bit here is when it says here, they said. And that goes back again to another speaker. And we could see here that it's back to speaker one, they said. The same person who spoke these lines here. It's a narrator, basically, explaining us what all happens. We then go back again and he says, so we have the speaker here when it says they said being the same as the first person and it comes back and it comes back again here to saying oh no no it was too cold always so that means that it's got to be the person here number two in red where it says oh no 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 it was too cold always that's the same person there who's speaking still the dead one lay moaning now if we look here we have here but still he lay moaning, it's repeated again, but still uh, the dead one lay moaning. So what we can see there is that that is going to be the green colour, it's the narrator, still the dead one lay moaning. I was much too far out all my life and not waving but drowning, and it finishes off one last time with the red because it's the dead man who's saying this. I was much too far out all my life and not waving but drowning. So the different speakers give us different perspectives, different views, different ways of looking at the poem. And it's really quite important that we remember that because we, on the face of it, we can just see it as a man who drowned in the ocean. But because we have the dead man also communicating to us, the narrator and the ignorant crowd here who just assume what happened to him, we can really get a good perspective that the man was alone all his life. He had nobody to listen to. He had nobody who would listen to him and nobody who would really care for him. And even in his, in his death, we see here, nobody seemed to really care.